Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Our whole Google Ads series is going on. If you like, you can go and watch them. So in today's lecture, we'll be discussing about conversion tracking using lead form submission. That means whenever a user submit a lead form, we want to track them as a conversion. So without further ado, let's get started. So for uh, conversion tracking using lead form, we need to go to the tools and settings section, then select conversion, new conversion action. We need to select website and give a website URL. I'm copying this URL, pasting it here, scanning it. Now we need to select add conversion action manually and we need to select the category as submit lead form and I'm naming it as submit lead form oh, sorry form USA site okay and i'm not mentioning any value don't use a value and i will count it as one and i will keep I, i'm keeping it as it is okay pressing the down and down button and save and continue okay i will use google tag manager option here so uh, we need to create a Google Tag Manager account first. I'll name it as Dental USA. Uh, country will be United States. Okay, selecting it. Dental USA container name. I'll select web container. Create. Uh, yes just wait a little bit okay tag manager has been successfully created now i need to put this code the back end of our website okay so i'm going to the back end of our website uh, so i need to install a plugin you know here add new I'll search here, insert, header, footer. Okay, this plugin, I have already installed it and I would request you to install this one. And then go to this code snippet option and from here go to head and, header and footer. Okay, so we need to put the header and body code uh, here. Okay, I am copying the uh, header code and pasting it here and I will copy the body code as well. Okay, and paste it here and save changes. So that's done. Okay, so for Google Ads conversion tracking, the first tag we need to set is conversion linker so i will set up conversion linker tag first conversion linker tag configuration would be conversion linker and triggering would be all pages okay fine then we'll create another tag called google ads lead conversion Google Ads lead conversion. Okay, tag configuration would be Google Ads conversion tracking. And I need to copy the conversion ID. Yeah, this one. I'll copy it and paste it here. I need conversion level. I'll copy it from here and paste it here. 
we don't need to put any conversion value transaction id and currency code because this is for e-commerce you know and i have a detailed conversion tracking videos on e-commerce you can go and watch this okay and triggering for now i am keeping it all elements you know lead trigger okay i will give it all elements and save okay save and now we need to go to the variable section okay and go to the configure option and make sure you have enabled some of the elements some of the variables actually yeah so we are good to go now i will click on preview mode and i need to put the website url here okay i'm putting it let's connect Okay, let's see it is connected or not yeah it is connected so i need to fill up a form here like my first name last name and message it as appointment book booking okay i will press the book now button okay i will go to this one and select click and go to the variable section so we can um, we can use those trigger as click class click element click id but i will use click id here because this is the unique one so i'm copying it and going to the trigger section actually I'll change the trigger type like some clicks and click ID equals this one. Okay. So we're done. I'm saving it. Okay. Then I'll submit it. Okay. Let's wait a little bit and we'll test it whether everything is working or not, whether our lead trigger is working or not. Okay, I'm going to the preview section. Just wait a little bit. Yeah, it is connected. Continue. I will submit a form here. Okay, appointment booking. Booking. Sorry. Yeah, I will uh, submit this form. Book now. And let's check. Yeah, that's it. Our Google Ads conversion form is triggered here. That means we have successfully triggered it so now we are going to this section and making it done so whenever a user will come to our website by seeing our ads and they submit a form to our this site then it will be triggered as a conversion okay so that's it for this video hopefully you like it so yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye.